Time to bounce on back. Welcome into sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Messman. Last week, Central Boys Soccer was unable to capitalize on their opportunities as they lost to their crosstown rivals, the Southwest Eagles. Tonight, they had an opportunity to rebound. The Uma Catholic Shamrocks welcomed in the Central Spartans in a border battle at Ricky Gwynn Stadium tonight. Central led 1-0 at halftime. So at the second half, we start Ismael Montano bursting forward, but he's going to have his shot sky way over the bar. A few minutes later, a corner for Central. It gets all the way through. Central's winger tries to curl it in, but that one goes over and wide. YC with possession now. Jean Lagarde finds himself in a little bit of space. He tries to drive one, but he gets under it and sails it over the net. A few minutes later, YC on the attack. Jack Nika is going to clip this one across the six-yard line, and Vin Winberg is there at the back post to finish it off the rocks, equalized with 20 minutes to go. Late in the half, corner for the Spartans. Here we go, it's gonna be sent in, and it's gonna be Michelle Villanueva with the header, and it is in. That would prove to be the game winner. Central heads back to California with a 2-1 victory. Over to Bob McClendon Court with the Yuma Criminals welcoming in the Kofa Kings. Yuma 6-0 entering this one. Emmanuel Ramirez and Kofa, meanwhile, looking to stop a six-game losing streak. Starting in the third quarter, nice ball movement. Eventually finds Andrew Mosqueda under the hoop, who puts Yuma up by 13. A bit later, Nick Amador is going to step into it for a three. No good, but uh, uh, Mosqueda is right there to clean it up with the bucket. And he do a lot of that tonight. Kofa wouldn't go away easy, though. Devin Diaz, corner three, misses that one. Diaz gets it back. He moves it to Negretti, who hits that one from distance. And that cuts the lead down to 12. Next possession for the Kings. Ramirez inbounds it and finds Joaquin Perez, who quickly gets that one off the glass. And it's only a 10-point deficit. Kings trying to make it single digits here. Elijah Braveheart gets it in the post. He tries to work it, but Andrew Mosqueda is there with the block. Yuma now with an opportunity to move it up the floor. Mosqueda gets it back. He drives into the lane. He goes up, but this time it's going to be Braveheart with the rejection. Just like that, two rivals showing some nice respect for one another. Great defense all around. The stout D would continue for Yuma later in the fourth. It's going to be another steal for the criminals. Mosqueda comes up with it, and he gets it to Estevan Moreno, who lays that one up and in. Crims up 55 to 39. Coach Kurt Weber is fired up for that one. And in the end, it would be the criminals who take this one 66 to 52. After the game, here's Weber talking about their W. Anytime the criminals and the Kings get together, it's good. It's good for everybody. Going back to all the people that graduated from both schools, people that remember that, that to me, that means a lot. They look to keep their perfect season going when they face Gila Ridge at home on Monday. Now to our plays of the week. First one of 2024, starting off at number five. Central on the corner kick in the header from Michelle Villanueva. Wins it for Central as they beat Yuma Catholic 2-1. At number four, we have uh, Andrew Mosqueda with the block. And he's going to send this one up the floor. Yuma's going to try and get this one going once again. Mosqueda, he goes, but it's going to be Elijah Braveheart trading dunks either side. Then at number three, we have Matija Gladich, his dunk at the AWC Dunk Show. Over at number two, to the Fiesta Bowl we go. Bo Nix on the double reverse. He finds his brother, Tez Johnson, who takes it in for the score. Five touchdown passes for Bo Nix. We can't get number one for number one. Make sure to check out our website. And that's all we have time for in sports.